Mexico. As he did Rally GB last year. He did uh, this rally last year. He's done this rally more than any other rally that he's done. And he struggles away from the line. Caladal Kasimi, first rally for a little while. He is away, blasting down to the first corner in his Abu Dhabi back Citroen WRC car. The contrast for Kasimi couldn't be greater because he says the Middle Eastern Championship is going to be his priority this season. But he's got a big jump on Solibos, who has time to make up already. It's interesting, the co-driver Solovov is Matic Baron, who was Robert Kavitsa's co-driver last season, and uh, basically said that he wanted to stop. Uh, that was before Robert got his big drive in the World Rally Championship, and then is already back with Solovov. But he has done a lot of rallies with Solovov before. So Khaled al Kasimi in the Citroen DS has the lead at the moment, but there's another lap to go. They swap lanes, and some of that time is going to begin to unwind. That will be the thought in Kasimi's head as he takes the outside lane. That's Kasimi. Just pulling on the handbrake as he was getting in to get the back end of the car up. Obviously, for Khaled, pace notes in English. Chris Patterson alongside him, new co-driver for this year. Chris Khaled's co-driver from last year has moved over to Craig Green. The last of the long left-handers in the heat to come. And here, take a look at this. Now we have something approximating a close heat. Rondal still with the time to beat. Kasimi turns in the third fastest of the night. He's on to our early leaderboard. And Solovov, the seventh fastest, 1.6 seconds down. And that's a good performance from Solovov. ...of this rally against the world champion himself on Kavitsa the outside. Is F1 not the bad the start. Wow. Ogier did seem to bog down, but uh, that's only the start. And Kabitza running into the snowbank on the outside, but he's got away with it. On board with Ogier. Poland won nil at this point. Gaucher and co-driver Julian Ingracia. Look at the bottom of your picture if you can, and tear your eyes away to Mickelson at the bottom there of the leaderboard who has the fastest time of the night, 133.4. Look at the That's sparks the off the titanium tip, tip studs. Now remember, this VW is driven by a man who was the winner here last year. He's the world champion. He's got 17 wins to his name, and the man on the outside used to drive in Formula 1. And had one win to his name in F1, but you know, Kibitza had a two-day test, and guess who joined him in that two-day test? Kibitza no <laughs> about to get the ice off the back yeah, of the Yeah, look at it coming across the windscreen. But in Kibitz's test, Marcus Grono, the big man, sat in alongside him, was massively, massively impressed with Kibitz's speed and commitment on the snow and ice. This heat, the one that you, the fans, wanted to see. You got the opportunity to vote for who you wanted in the cars for the final heat tonight here at Karlstadt. And you said it's got to be Kibitza against Ogier. We're looking at Ogier now. He may have got the slower start. We're about to unpeel the final bend and see who has won the final heat. And it's going to be a big one for the world champion. But is he faster than his teammate? Andreas no. Mickelson, and he's not. Mickelson has outdone him by eight tenths of a second, and Kubica does drop into 12th place and did lose a lot of time over the closing meters of that super special as we take just a little bit of a breath and uh, vw can take a breath with us there is our leaderboard then after the opening stage here andreas mickelson it is a surprise in the third of the three factory vws and ogier the world champion in the other vw in second place he won't mind about that julian he will be quite happy with the fact that he's got through this unscathed and finds himself on the leaderboard. 50% of the stages last year were won by the man we're seeing in this VW polo. And it was at this event that he got VW, their very first win. Not the easiest one, but yeah, uh, very tricky and uh, a lot of lines. I was uh, stuck a bit in the difficult, uh, yeah, because a lot of... Uh, Fresh snow and loose snow, so yeah, all good. Uh, but tomorrow it will be much more difficult. You had Marcus Grono on a test recently. He says you've got some speed out there on snow. Yeah, but uh, on the test is different driving. You have to, you know, the road. And uh, here, uh, I have to discover everything, condition the uh, roads and the uh, stages. So yeah, it, it will be very, very tricky rally. Thank you.
Robert Kubica, and to be fair, Marcus Gronholm described him as the most natural driver 